Hey guys, my name is Sean. Thanks for joining me on today's ride. On today's ride, I'm going across town across a couple different freeways, and so I am in a 2019 Tesla Model 3 Performance. I have Hardware 3, and I'm on the latest update, 2020.12.6, and so we'll take it for a ride. But just so you guys know up front, this is my most successful ride so far with this latest update. The car is basically doing 99.9% .9 of the driving and I, my hands are on the steering wheel just to kind of touch it along the way roughly every minute or so and also for the confirmation of the lane changes like right now. So just a little uh, confirmation there on the steering wheel and it does the lane change for me. We'll go up this freeway and this freeway is about 6 or 7 miles before I need to hop on a different freeway. So I'll, I'll try to comment along as we go. I'll speed things up. Um, when they're kind of boring but uh, when I do see anything that needs noting then I'll, I'll kind of slow down and we'll kind of talk through it but so far this is my most successful trip as you can see my hands are uh, in, in this example my hands are off the steering wheel just so you can see that Tesla's full self-driving is really coming along and it, it's usable on the freeway not quite on the small roads yet but on the freeway it is really usable so just a little bit of recap, uh, this is playing in 2X now. I do have the full self-driving package purchase and my settings are on Mad Max without any uh, Mad Max with notification and so I have to give it a slight wiggle to make the lane change confirmation. I have my settings set to 75 uh, which is 10 over the speed limit and so the max it can go is 10 over the speed limit. Speed limit here is 65. I'm going 75 and I'm only in the second lane um, because traffic is going fast enough already I'm able to do 75 normally if the first two right lanes are slower then Tesla will usually move me all the way to the left lane and allow me to do 75 or whatever the speed limit is at that time but in this example today I'm going 75 in the second lane to the right and it looks like it's happy there at this point we're probably about two miles before I have to make a uh, exit on my right and so it's keeping me in the second lane here you can see because cars are cutting off in front of us but there's no no, no real issues for a uh, Tesla to slow down or speed up um, with that I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with that now so I don't, I don't have any normal um, complaints there if, if you see the screen flashing blue right in the middle there on the left side that means I just need to put my hand on the steering wheel and I do but for the most part Tesla's taking control it merges me over uh, one more lane to the right and I believe with this lane I'm able to make my exit so it's probably not going to move me anymore as we come up here there's an accident to the right everything that's kind of slowed down a little bit but no issues there if you take a look at the screen now we're going 74 and as we approach this exit it's going to start to slow down to it, it does a gradual slowing down so let's see here I'm at 75 speed limit is at 65 as I take the curve it says 65 now and then it slowed me down to 65 and then it's 60 and it's 55 now so uh, you can kind of feel some of those jerks when they slow down because it, it does try to slow you down pretty quickly so it's at 50 it takes a curve at 50 or it's set to 50 but it looks like I'm going 45 uh, it's kind of doing this all on its own I, I'm, I tap it every 30 seconds or so and as we get out of the curve it uh, speeds back up again it was 55 now it's 60 and then 70 and then back to 75 it's going to merge me over so th this part here I, I think there's still room for improvement right there because uh, as soon as you hop onto freeway Tesla wants you especially in this Mad Max mode it wants you it wants to take you all the way to the fast lane and then it realizes oh wait I gotta get off in a mile or half a mile or something so I gotta merge you all the way over to right and so what it just did there was basically it merged me onto the main freeway and then it took me over left one lane and then it realized hey I, I gotta get off in the next mile so it merged me right back to the right lane I think if Tesla can kinda do some of those calculations up front and say oh he's gotta merge onto this freeway but if he's gonna exit off in one mile then just 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 keep me on the right lane right and then uh, that would save that would save that lane change or save two lane changes uh, out one and then back in one and so I, I think that's 
that's an improvement that they can work on in the future. Again, we're hopping on a different freeway here. Uh, slight tap of the steering wheel for me. It's going to keep me in this lane. Uh, my exit is coming up in roughly about two miles here. So we'll see what Tesla does. This van just kind of cuts across me and we're, we're now going 55 in a 65 zone. And so uh, Tesla notices that and merges me to the next lane over. Um, at this point, roughly about two miles out because um, our exit is right after this bridge coming up here. So here, Tesla did something very human-like. Uh, I'm roughly a mile and a half out, and it pretends it does a quick signal like, oh, I should move to the right lane right now. You can see a flash on the screen. Oh, I changed my mind. I'm going to stay in this lane and maybe go up uh, above this uh, this truck before I change over. And so I stayed in that lane, but it did do a, a couple clicks like it was going to change over, but it didn't change over. Now I'm getting pretty worried. Um, because my exit is probably half a mile and I need to squeeze in somehow. Tesla realizes that, starts to signal. And it, it looks like I forced myself in here, but as soon as I signal, the, the guy behind me actually slowed down as well too because he was going to take an exit. And so that transition was relatively smooth if, if because the driver needed to slow down. But if he didn't, then it, it probably would have been pretty tough to get in. Uh, but we, we got in. Uh, no issues there. If you saw that as soon as I took the exit it brought me all the way to the right lane. Um, on both of these uh, right lanes here you're able to get on to the exit to the other freeway but it brought me all the way to the right lane. I I'm, not, I'm not sure how it picks because sometimes it puts me in the right lane sometimes it puts me in the left lane. Um, I, I don't know that I don't know how it does that yet. But my experience has been mostly the right lane. And so my exit is coming up within half a mile here. It doesn't move me over. Actually, I just stay in here and then get off. With the last updates, 2020.12.6, uh, we did get some updates on red light and stop signs. And so here's a chance for you to kind of see that. I, I, I'm letting Tesla do whatever, put me in whatever lane it needs me to. And so it puts me into this lane, which works for me and then it finally gradually slows down at the line and so everything works out well no issues there uh, so th to me like i didn't count all the times i touched the steering wheel but i probably touched it less than 30 times for the most part tesla did everything right i didn't have any complaints about anything it worked out well that was a very good trip on this last update that they have i, I think the foundation of autopilot is getting much better or getting better and better each time uh, just want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any comments, uh, feel free to leave them below. Thanks. Enjoy. Bye.